Today, I take my very first flight, the Trojan T28 by Ashin. And find out if this is truly the best beginner RC plane. Coming up. So here we have the Trojan T28 by Ashin, and this plane comes completely ready to fly, which means in the box it includes the battery, the charger, and the remote control. I'm really looking forward to flying this thing today, but if you saw our other video when I first touched an RC plane remote, you will know that it did not go too well, and the plane actually ended up in a tree 10 seconds into the flight. So let's hope that today I do a little bit better. I'm sure now that Emma's completed her training, she went through the training on uh, um, real flight 9.5 so now she's more familiar with a radio like this one her very first ever time flying that uh, the p51 she hadn't even seen this radio and i was quite a bad trainer that day i put her in a bad environment with bad weather conditions today's a much nicer day and it's a slightly better environment and the fact that this plane has flight stabilization it has three modes you can fly in. you can fly in beginner mode, intermediate mode, and expert mode. Of course, Amber will be in beginner mode today. It's gonna to make it a lot more easier for you. Basically, in beginner mode, the plane's not gonna allow you to fly upside down. There are certain limits to its bank angle and pitch. So, I'm sure you'll do just fine. I'm excited to see Amber at the controls of this plane, so at least waste, let's not waste any more time. Let's head to the park and see Amber go for her very first flight. Here we are on location with two of our T28s, with the yellow one down there, which I'm gonna take for its main flight very soon. And we got the little T28, which Amber's taking for its main flight, in a nice open area this time, although there is quite a few obstacles. We've got rugby posts, light stand, tennis courts, fences, tree, lake, tractor, and birds. We're all about the challenges and fun, and look, we've got a beautiful runway just waiting for us to take off into the sunset, Amber, let's get this plane on. Remote on first, plug the battery in. Amber's gonna be flying in the beginner mode, this is just like our P51. Hear that oh. noise? That is the gyro working, that's the flight stabilization. You're gonna help Amber keep nice and level. If we go ahead and put an intermediate, you still get that, but if we go to expert, you get nothing. Amber, are you gonna fly expert today? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, beginner mode it is, Amber, let's get this thing on the runway. I'm nervous. Let's go for your maiden flight, the T28. It's time for takeoff. Whoa, there we are, right into the sun. <laughs> and she is airborne. And I've completely lost it. There it is. <laughs> Amber's first ever fly. Nice, there's some nice low passes there for us. Don't worry, get that on camera. Don't stall it now. <laughs> so some low circles. Look at it. It flies so nicely, this little plane. It does. Oh, this flight is already. A much longer flight time than that other one. I know. Which, that one doesn't count, right? No. That, that one does not count as your first flight. This is your first flight. Here we go. Nice. Oh, oh pull up. Oh, no. The first crash. Let's go. Round two. Beautiful. Beautiful takeoff. Nicely done, Amber. Nicely done. First ever time flying, man. She's doing really well here. Oh! Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Gee, that was close. <laughs> okay. Go for a beginner. Yeah, well, you are. I do this find is your it. first ever flight, so it's perfect demonstration that this is for a beginner. Yeah. And I gotta say, you're doing really well, Amber. I do find it quite hard to um, tell how much throttle I need, though, especially when coming in low. Try about 50% on the down, try fly around mostly around 50%. Yeah. So. See how you go. Uh, when you're ready, come for a low pass over the runway and start getting practice, uh, start practicing seeing what it looks like when it's coming along the runway. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Here we go, nice. Come on. 
<laughs> Whoa, <laughs> nice. I probably missed it on camera, but it did get close. It's just, yeah, knowing when to let go of the throttle. When not to stall, how not to stall. <laughs> ooh, ooh, nice, good job. Oh, she got oh. for a landing. Oh, oh I missed oh. it. But that was good. That was such a good landing. <laughs> Always make sure that this is down because I learned, you know, you don't want it on when you're trying to put this in. That's one of the best yeah. features of this plane for a beginner. The prop just breaks off when you land, it's designed to. Whereas something like this, still beginner friendly. But I think that if you hit the ground with this, it's going to snap. Good thing that this plane does come with a spear propeller. I don't know how I'm going to right, go. Alright, let's this go. Let's do, do a hand launch. Oh, okay. Um, so hold it with one hand, give it full throttle, <laughs> and then just throw it like a dart. <laughs> I'm not good at darts either. There we go. Beautiful hand launch. A little bit of wind, not too much. I think today is probably about Perfect, five yeah. knots. Very little. Little to no one. But for this plane, it does feel a lot heavier, a lot more though, doesn't it? Yes, but it's so different. Like, I know I only got 10 seconds flight time last time, but it's so different flying without wind. So much nicer. What do you reckon, Amber? That simulator training, you reckon it's helped you? What training? The simulator training <laughs> on the computer. Um, yes, but it is, again, very different. Oh, oh. sorry, whoopsies. Um, see, I need to concentrate. Simulator training. Definitely helped a lot when trying to navigate your way around the remote because as you may remember from the previous video I didn't even know what the remote was. I, I thought know, it was a charger. That was one of the best things for the simulator train for Amber like she said was getting learning around the remote and this orientation. Very basic compared to the remote. To the Spectrum DX6 we've got. Um, so I got pretty good on that especially learning the throttle and how to turn because I guess immediately you kind of think that this is up Yes. And this is down, but a it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah. And you know, if it's not in training mode, you get me ever. Then you do little flips and scary. Okay. All right. Hand launch. Uh, hand launch time. Hand do launch. it into wind. Into wind, which is this way. Yep. Yeah. Give oh. a full throttle. Nice, yeah. nice dart. I don't want to do it because the lake. Yeah. Oh, we got trouble. We got no throttle. Oh, it might be time to switch out batteries. Battery. Man, while switching out the batteries, I was bending the nose wheel around to try and get it straight, and it kind of snapped off. So we're gonna go with no undercarriage. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna print some belly landings. Oh, good. And it should fly just a little bit faster. Not nose, not nose dive. Hopefully not nose dive. <laughs> and there she go, and she's off. Okay, I'm gonna try go over the runway. I'm still getting used to, you know, navigating where I am in the sky. Um. It looks very nice without the landing gear. Yeah, it looks thunderbirdy. Here we go, here we go. What's Lighting. going on? Oh, oh <laughs> belly landing. I want to have one turn after this. Uh, next, next crash. You seem to break everything. <laughs> nice, doing a nice smooth landing. Ah, what's happening? Oh, <laughs> oh no. You did alright, you did alright. Bring it right, bring it ah. a little closer. No. Oh, there we go. Nice belly landing. Sorry. Whoa, okay. Lowering that throttle. Still beginner mode, eh, Amber? I hope so. <laughs> what do you mean? Did you change it? No. Whoa. Uh, let's see a smooth, beautiful belly landing. Emma's oh. coming in on the approach. Oh, she might have overshot a little bit. She's coming back around. Lower the throttle. Ah. Whoa. Oh, sorry. So sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm still wish, getting used to it. I wish I could. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Emma. Okay, Joe, I'm going to come in for a belly landing. Oh. In a second. Oh. In a second. Oh, I've lost that. There it is. <laughs> hey, beautiful I'll landing. perfect Those it Those dogs are watching too. <laughs> I promise I'll perfect it next time. Wait, is that upside down? <laughs> it is. Quick practice before I get on the big version of this thing. <laughs> oh, so much easier with no wind like the other day. It's nice, eh? Oh, fly is good too. Fly is good. <laughs> Look at that. Nice slow pass. You're way more relaxed on it than I am. You just gotta not panic. 
the smooth inputs, the stability feature this RC has, this plane has, helps it. Between us. Between us. There we go. Nice. And I'll do a dumbbell turn right over top of us. Okay, now I'm gonna do coming over the runway this time. Yeah, just over the runway there. Ooh. Nice. Uh, right. I'm actually surprised that neither of us have crashed it badly yet. I know. Well, it looks nice with those clouds. It does. Right, oh, sorry. I shouldn't be flying over top of you. It makes it a lot harder to film. Whoa, Whoa. do another one. I'm gonna put on expert real briefly and do a barrel roll or some kind of roll. Whoa, <laughs> switch back into expert. <laughs> into intermediate, I should say. Here we go, come between us. Oh, you can see nice. that you can hold it. You can see that a little bit of cross in it's holding. <laughs> this is such a nice wee plane to fly. Seriously, if you're a cool, beginner. Yeah. If you just get into RC planes or you're interested, you want to see if, if that's what you like, then this is the, definitely the perfect first RC plane. This one or the P51, there's also a Corsair. Either one of those three, this one is perfect, all for machine. This looks so cool Ran about with the clouds. Bucks. Aileron control, elevator, rudder and throttle. It's pretty cool. I must say, I did have it in intermediate mode at one point, so it is, it's such a good idea to have the beginner <laughs> mode on <laughs> there. a little belly landing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this RC, a lot of fun, man, a lot of fun. We're going to head back to the studio, and Amber's going to give you her first thoughts for her first ever flight. Okay, guys, now we're back home, and I want to hear in the comments down below how you think I did for my very first official RC plane flight. But this plane is a lot of fun, and if you're scared about touching an RC plane like I very much was, I cannot recommend this plane enough. We're going to have it linked in the description box down below if you're interested. Yeah, this is really, truly the best beginner plane for your very first RC plane. And once you've got a bit of experience flying something like this, you can then level up to something like the yellow T28 we had out there and I took for its maiden flight. We've already made a video on that uh, plane. If you haven't seen that, make sure you go check it out. It's some pretty awesome footage with the onboard camera. And we've got another plane video coming very soon. That is with a Spitfire. It is enormous. It is the biggest RC plane that we own. It is, has a 1.45 meter wingspan. We're gonna have three onboard cameras. It's gonna be epic. You don't want to miss that video, so in order to not miss it, make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a like anyway. Make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures. I'm Joe. And I'm Amber. We're the RC Kiwis, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.